All right, good morning, I should say football family. It's time now to get to the Deep Dish Football Game of the Week. Bolingbrook, Bolingbrook High School, Deep Dish Football Game of the Week is Bolingbrook takes on Lincoln Way East, both teams undefeated. So, let's get into uh, Bolingbrook High School, uh, and let's first start the schedule. Um, I think the big, the biggest of uh, the huge um, firework of the season that shocked everyone was when Bolingbrook beat Manuka. That was <laughs> that was one of the biggest uh, shockers in IHSA for Week One. Um, they shocked the world with that win. I think that was a great first win for them to have, and it was at Manuka, so uh, that was always that was the that was the big shot across the balls. That Bolingbrook was going to be good this year. Second game, Simeon Career Academy against Simeon's going through a tough year. Uh, I don't think that much surprise. Third one, uh, always a tough Lincoln Way West uh, team. They beat Lincoln Way West twenty four to seventeen, and that was another big game for them. And I mean, if, and just to add on, they shut out Simeon. If hopefully that score is correct, thirty three to zero. Um, hopefully that's correct. But they shut out Simeon. That's quite impressive. Um, for Bowling Brook, especially against the always a tough, um, a tough Simeon uh, team, they beat Sandberg. Uh, Sandberg is still an up up and coming team. After Lincoln Way East, they got a tough game at home with Flossmore, who just got their first loss. That's always a tough game. I see that as a huge competition game for uh, Bowling Brook. I think it's going to be a tough game for them. That's just another tough game, uh, second tough, straight tough game for them. And we go down a little bit more. Lockport's looking great. Lockport's undefeated. They're looking like the big dogs of the conference. That's going to be a big game for Bowling Brook. Lincoln Way Central, not so much. Stag High School, not so much. So they got a good shot right now. Uh, best, the the worst record they could get is six and three. Um, best record, I'll I'll go eight and one. Eight and one. Uh, no, I'll do eight, eight and one, seven two. But the worst thing that they can do is six and three. Honestly, but I think it's going to be. I think they're going. Uh, Bolingbrook is going to be in the playoffs. No doubt about that. Um, Again, we talk about their team, not that much game film, as I know Coach Ivo is very adamant about not really showing that much game film during the season. Um, again, Armarian Stewart is the star player for Bolingbrook. That's their big dog. Um, again, very talented wide receiver. Raw? Yes, still very, very raw. Um, again, working at, he's got to work on more on the shorter, shorter routes. Um, especially the blocking as well. Um, small, the small things he has to work on, the big things here he has. He's a, he's a talented player. He's one of the top wide receivers in the nation, no doubt about it. The kid's a star. Uh, Brandon Ship, small but deadly. Damian Walters, uh, classic 2023 defensive back, one of the best in the Midwest. Um, he's going to continuously get better. He's good. Um... Anthony Harris deserves to be talked about as well. He's a hell of a player too. Um, the, uh, Kion Barry Johnson, I really, really, really like. I think that that Bolingbrook team is going to be something, uh, especially with their passing attack, no doubt about that. Um, and again, um, good offensive line. Uh, Hughes, um, freaking, there's another player, Jackson as well. He's another player too. Um Especially for Bolingbrook, for me, and Jaquan Howard, he's another small but deadly running back. He can take it for a touchdown, no matter, no like nobody's business. He's a hell of a player too. The big thing for me, and this is with Bolingbrook, this is personally with Bolingbrook. Um, they've got the they, their offensive line is, a, from what I see, is a better performing team offensive line wise now than they had with. You say a couple few talented Division One kids that they have, um, but I think Bolingbrook again. I a little bit shocked with the uh, the talent that they have on their line um, and the wins that they were able to get. I think again that offensive. Uh, I I probably forgot that offensive line coach. She's one of the best in the state for Bolingbrook. So is their defensive line coach. She's a hell of a defensive line coach too. Um, but overall, Bolingbrook looking solid again this year. Um, and again, for me, 
when they get into the playoffs, could they do some damage? They had a big upset in the playoffs a couple of years ago when they beat Hinsdale Central, and no one saw that coming. Could they do that again? Yes, they could. Um, probably get into on on the worst bets, one two games into the playoffs. Best bets, three four. Um, I don't see them as a state title contender. Um, that's just my personal feeling, but they are a very talented team. Um, and a lot of people, well, Lincoln Way East is going to blow out Bolingbrook. I don't believe that. I don't. I don't think that could happen. This is high school football. Anything can happen. I think Bolingbrook is going to give Lincoln Way East a challenging game. I think the most important thing against uh, Lincoln Way East is they have to stop that run. That's going to be huge for that Bolingbrook defense. So that is it for Bolingbrook uh, year so far. Players to look out for. I'm hopefully I don't forget any players. I know we I missed the two transfers. Amon Walker. I'm sorry, I forgot about Amon, Amon Walker. He's another player that you should definitely take a look out for as well. Um, Alec Robinson, another interesting player as well. Hopefully I didn't forget anyone else. I'm forgetting. Hopefully I don't forget one. There's one more player I'm forgetting about from Bolingbrook. I think that's about it. So, but yeah, and I mean Bolingbrook has always had, always, I swear every season they've had one undersized linebacker, and he's the complete real deal. And if he had two, three more inches on him, he'd be a Division One, uh, Power Five linebacker. I swear that, and you you gotta respect that when you can get one of those uh, an undersized kid to play like a six five, six four, six three linebacker. That's impressive, and Bolingbrook again. Good defense, always preaching good defense, so we'll see what happens. It should be an interesting game. Final thoughts coming tomorrow uh, for the game as Bolingbrook takes on Lincoln Way East and uh, some more magic numbers. And that is it for Bolingbrook.